Today on the Extreme Channel, we're looking at this Mystique statue. And if you're unfamiliar, Mystique can actually change forms. I'm pretty sure this is Mystique. Holy shit. Son of a bitch, she did it again. What's she gonna turn into next? Damn. Now she's sexy. As the Extreme Channel is pushing towards 50,000 subscribers, these are just a few of the statues we are giving away on the journey there. If you want to know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. Hey, thanks for tuning in. My name is Mr. X. We're all about Extreme Collectibles, and today we have a custom Mystique statue, and I am very stoked about this statue because I think it may have one of the best concepts of all time. Now, if you're unfamiliar, Mystique is a Marvel character who has the ability to shapeshift or morph into other people. Now, with that being said, I've owned a few other Mystique statues before. Check out this video right here where I compare Sideshow and XM Studios. Very significantly different statues of this evil mutant. Now, I ended up keeping Sideshows because the XM Studios didn't show any type of transformation or her mutant ability or mutant power where clearly you can already see, and you saw in the intro, this one does it like no other statue has done before. And that's why I pulled the trigger on this. But this is not without its flaws. So we're gonna do a review today, and I'm gonna figure out if I'm gonna keep this one, or if I'm gonna keep the original Sideshow piece, which I still have and like quite a bit. So Mystique, Raven Darkholm, is generally associated with the X-Men, or the Brotherhood of Mutants fighting against the X-Men, and she's been featured in the X-Men movies, but for us comic book lovers, this is where we originally discovered her. And as I said, she has the ability to morph into other people. It doesn't mean she gets their powers or abilities, it just means she can look like them and she does have some of her own mutant abilities such as athleticism and agility, and she is a badass chick in general. Now this statue, like I said, it has its flaws in a few different areas, and one of those is one of the amazing switch outs it has actually shows something it probably shouldn't. So we're gonna get to all that, but let's kick it off starting with concept of her. So clearly with so many cool switch outs that we'll talk about during design, the concept will vary a little bit, but for the most part, Raven is standing on some type of base. It looks like almost the ruins of the Xavier Mansion. Part of that is the back of the base and skulls everywhere. So she's really known for skulls and death. And she's a pretty badass chick in general. She's a murderess, or is that what you call a female murderer? You see a raven down below, kind of a tribute to her original name that she doesn't use anymore. She's in her standard outfit, so in her standard color, which is blue, and then her outfit is usually white. This is a traditional mystique outfit. As you move up, I'm not a fan of some of the anatomy. We're gonna talk about that. And how I have her displayed right now, she's actually transforming into Rogue. I really like that you see half the transformation in the face, you see half of it in the hand. I think it's pretty badass, and this is just one of multiple options, as you saw, we'll talk about. So I think that concept is awesome. I've heard a few people say she should be transforming from the inside out, where on the statue, especially on the arm, it's more from the outside in. I don't really think it matters. If you have the ability to morph into others, I'm sure there's more than one way to do it. So the concept is fantastic. I think it's a five out of five for sure. Very unique. We've been waiting for a Mystique statue to do this for such a long time. Unfortunately, there's a few flaws with designs, nothing serious, but stuff we're gonna look at after we look at the unboxing and assembly. It was a very big box, pretty damaged, uncharacteristically light. Here's the art box. They did have a COA card, a little bit different. Had the addition size on the back. And it was two layers. And things weren't packed incredibly well, but nothing was broken, so I can't complain. Previously on X-Men.
So as you saw in the unboxing and assembly, there is another display stand. I think this is fantastic. It shows all the different switch outs. So let's look at those switch outs on the statue really quick. First, she can be Mystique. Have the Mystique portrait here. And then Mystique holding the gun. Mystique is well known for her arms. And I mean like weapons. But you can switch out the portrait to a transforming rogue. And again, I like how it's half and half. And then you can also switch out her arm to rogue raising her fist. But there's a Psylocke option as well. So here is Psylocke holding her trademark sword. Or you can switch out Psylocke where she actually is making an energy weapon. And this is the fallacy because this really wouldn't be true. Mystique would not be able to do this. But it still does look cool. I Another flaw in the design, in my opinion, is they have her looking where her arm is, so her arm partially covers up her portrait. I think that's a big miss. They could have had her portrait turned a little bit facing forward, because one of the coolest parts of this is the transformation of her portrait. So from a lot of angles, you're covering up the coolest part with the arm. I think that's a little bit of a miss. So I told you earlier, there's another display option for all the additional switch outs. I think that is amazing. It's awesome. It follows the theme base, has some skulls. We'll look at it closer during paint and sculpt. Unfortunately, it's back heavy. That's why I have it pressed up against the back. It was tipping over on its own. Other thing, things aren't super secure in there. They're not gonna fall on their own. As much credit as I do give them for this, there are a few knocks because of it. Although that is pretty cool how you can display all the different options. I think that kind of overrides the fact, but definitely be careful with it. When I was putting it together, it kept falling over. Thankfully, nothing broke. She's a very light piece. The box said it was only 20 pounds. I think she's heavier than that, so I question how good the material is. The base itself, you saw me lift up during the unboxing, very light. Now let's measure her. The widest point, which is the base, is approximately 16 inches. The deepest point is about 13. And then she, even with the Psylocke here, with that, she's right over 24 inches are right at 24 inches, a little bit shorter, 23 or so, with some of the other switch outs. So design, a few flaws, but still all those different transformation options and this additional display that you can put anywhere, I think that elevates it too, so I still give the design a four out of five. However, I think where the real problems with this are the paint and sculpt. I wouldn't say they're bad, they're not good though. Check it out. So I hate to say this, but sadly, the best part of the paint and sculpt, I think, is the base. Uh, they did a nice job. You know, what's interesting is some of the hues and the colors they added in here. You see kind of that red. I don't know the purpose behind that, but I like that it varies it up a little bit. Where the sculpt of the broken stones meld into the statue, I think that could have been done a little bit better. But overall, I like the uh, decorative blocks. Maybe if they had changed the color in between the uh, each of the blocks, kind of where the uh, mortar would be, I think is good. And here is the Xavier sign. Now it doesn't have any writing on that, at least on the front, but it's that same X symbol, so you assume that's what it is. And it has that that uh, uh, reddish uh, coloring all over. Skulls look good. I think they're sized right. Uh, we didn't really talk about this. She's a little bit bigger than like the Sideshow one, but she's polymorphic. So she has the ability to change sizes. But these are probably pretty accurate to one four scale, maybe about 5% too big. I don't mind the brown color they have. I think it works well with the statue, but uh, I would have liked maybe a little bit more enamel, a little bit more bone color. Here is the Raven. It's fine for a sculpted bird. You know, feathers are very hard to sculpt. Um, it's a big bird, but I kind of think that that's uh, purposeful and deliberate. Regarding her, so her legs are a little bit long, which they are technically in the comics. Again, she's polymorphic. She can change sizes. I think the coloring on her skin is fine. Uh, it's not good or bad. Uh, you can kind of see the other one way down there. It's much darker, but so is XM Studios. So again, I think that it's kind of dependent on the artist's interpretation. There's almost some black shading in there. Legs a little bit too long for sure, like especially this one right here. They added a lot of darkened black around her white suit, which I like actually. Sideshow has a little bit too, but sometimes it's too clean and I think that 
you know, she wears it every day, all day, so it's gonna have some of that shadowing and almost grime dirt, so I think that's done well. And then even the folds in her boot, uh, where it moves up, now the skulls look fine, but when you get really close, like see where the belt meets, almost looks like some paint bleed off, some specks. Uh, I don't know if I like the color of gold they chose. And these skulls, looks like there could be a little bit more definition. They are small, but still I'm not a huge fan. I think they added too much black on the embroidered pattern here. Her chest, not a fan at all. I mean, just doesn't look good in my opinion. It's almost too big. That's what she said. <laughs> Glove, very similar comments to the boots. Her anatomy, where her abdominals are, I don't know if I'm feeling that either. It almost doesn't match uh, the oversized breasts. Where her transformation is, again, very similar comments to the bird feathers. I mean, I understand that they're trying to make it emotion and morphing. Maybe a little bit more uh, micro detail would have helped, I think. Then when you look at things like her hands up here, there, there's almost no separation between the fingers. That's where I think it, it, the print on the statues wasn't super clean. Now the portrait, very doll-like. You know, it, it doesn't have the realism of a lot of the other statues I have. Don't get me wrong, I love how the uh, pattern of her morphing face goes back. I love how the hair color is changing. You see part of uh, Psylocke there and then part of uh, Raven, but mediocre comes to mind is kind of a good word. I almost feel like there's bleed over too, or a big gap there. Her hair, it's too bunched up in my opinion, and all of them are like that. We're gonna look at the other ones here too. Like, look how shiny that is. Not a fan of that at all. This one's not as shiny, but still really bunched up. I do like the flow of it. Then we'll move down. I think her her portrait right here again, it's fine. It's not one you know horrible. It's not great. I think the uh, uh, colors match her hair well, but again, I think they should have individualized some of the strands. It's too much of a glob. And then the gloss on Rogue's hair, I'm just not a fan of at all. And then here's some more of those finger issues I was talking about. Let me pull this out. Just looks like a uh, plastic doll to an extent. Here's the Rogue portrait. Uh, the decals aren't the best. I mean, they do what you need them to, the decal for the eyes there. A little substandard in my opinion. Yeah, so I'm not feeling the paint and sculpt as much as I thought I would. It looks more like a, uh, a cheap doll. Uh, it's not bad, but it's just not good. So does the concept and the design overcome that? I don't know. If I'm a brand new statue collector, I feel like I wouldn't see the flaws that I do now. So again, I want to emphasize, I don't think these are bad. I've just seen a lot better. And I think on average, most of the statues I get are better. So starting with the sculpt, big negative about her chest, big negative about the hair that we talked about. So I, I think the sculpt is a three out of five at best. I think the reason why I'm giving it three out of five, I like how you, the portraits do look like different people that elevated a little bit. Paint is really bugging me, honestly. Um, I think the bleed over especially is is the issue. And I think it's a, it's, it's a weak three out of five. I could argue giving a two out of five, but there are some redeeming factors on this for sure. A value on this piece. This is a fairly newer studio. I've never bought anything from them. So this is a custom, means it's a private unlicensed commission. They only made 50 of these. And I really wanted another piece that they came out with, but I saw some of the same sculpt and paint concerns, but the, the concept was amazing. Tons of cool design stuff just like this. It was a Carnage and Mary Jane piece. Because they're decently new, you know, only a year or two old, maybe that's why I see some of the infancy in the uh, paint and sculpt, but they do charge a lesser price. This was only $750 which is extremely competitive. Shipping was a couple hundred, but the fact that no other Mystique has been done like this, to my knowledge, and they only made 50, I think the value is really good. So despite the paint and sculpt that I'm not a huge fan of, I think it's still a four out of five. Now, is this a five out of five statue? I don't think it is. I think I can't overlook some of that mediocrity, um, but I love the concept. I love the extra display option here. 
I think it's still a four out of five, and I definitely think this will be taking place of my Sideshow one, so I will be selling that on an end of the month video. Don't message me, just make sure you've liked this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification. But uh, this is a pretty damn cool piece to have, and especially for the price, I don't think you can beat that. What do you guys think? Is this better? Is XM better? Is Sideshow better? There's been some other custom, there's been some other customs recently revealed and released. Throw that down in the comments below. I love to interact with you guys and you could win a statue. We will be giving all of these statues away plus additional ones at every 5,000 subscriber milestone. To win one of these statues, all you have to do is make sure you've liked this video, you've subscribed to the channel, you've hit that bell notification, and then just drop a comment below. Every 5,000 subscriber milestone, we are going to do a random drawing and pick a random comment and give one of these statues away plus some additional ones I'm not showing right now. The more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, I wish I could transform, don't you? Please hit that like button. It's free, easy, subscribe. Do all that good stuff. I say it mildly, but I mean it passionately. Bye-bye.